Did you get a sense they were interested in the quarterback? You know, obviously Kyler. You know. I mean, it's not like they told me they were interested in a quarterback, but the media said so. Mm -hmm. but How much do you pay attention to that stuff? I mean, not much. Mm -hmm. Does it mean anything going up against the number one pick in the draft team? What, what do you think? Of, what do you think of him as a player? What, what do you see? Really good player. Um, he went number one for a reason. Um, so they run a lot of zone read, um, quick game, screens, play action, a lot of stuff that is meant to slow down the D line. So um, we're gonna have to prepare in the short week and be ready for it. What kind of chat when you have a quarterback can do that sort of stuff and scramble and do the running game? What challenge does that give you? To um, we just have to contain him, not let him extend plays. I think you mentioned on Sunday that you'd never had this quick a turnaround in your football career. What do you, uh, how have you begun to prepare for something so quick? Um, what's the hardest thing about it? Just, I was probably in the tubs long, longer than I ha I've ever been um, yesterday and got a long massage. Uh, it's not much you could do other than take care of your body and watch film because you can't really go through game reps right now or else you'll be slow on Thursday. So um, just big mental week. What was your impression? I'm sure you had dialogue with the Cardinals. What was your impression of the organization as a whole? <clears throat> seemed like a really good destination. Uh, seemed like they had a pretty good plan for the future. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Did you envision your mentally preparing yourself to be there at a certain point? A little bit, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, until until they started um, just confirming that it was Kyler Murray, I was I was definitely thinking it, it could be a possibility. So. Yeah, you kind of kind of just have to have your eyes less on who you're facing as offensive linemen, but you kind of have eyes in the backfield. I try and keep my eyes on my work, which is the offensive lineman, and that helps me beat offensive linemen. But with a quarterback like this, you kind of have to have eyes in the backfield. And you have to know what his tendencies are when it comes to escaping. And uh, just know, <clears throat> just so you could counter. Like, maybe set him up think, thinking, oh, I'm not giving away the <laughs> secret. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just knowing the tendencies where he likes to roll out and stuff like that. And, and they do have that quick passing game. They line up the shotgun to try to get it out. Yeah. Any different emphasis on getting your hands up quicker? Yeah, um, they do do the quick screens to the outside. Um, yeah, a lot of times we're not going to even have time to get there, so um, I'm sure our big boys inside will hopefully be able to knock a couple down. Had you seen a 320 pounder move as quickly as DJ did on, on his sack? No, that was crazy. You don't see, dude, that looked like Quan going to make it. A tackle. It was, it was crazy. What's the biggest challenge of playing on Thursday night? Uh, just having no time to prepare and get your body right. You've had your teammates throw, and I think Sherman after the game said, made your case for defensive MVP. How do you feel about all that stuff? What they've been saying about it? I appreciate Sherm, but it's not really my focus right now. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Cool.